Hi, everyone. Thank you once again for joining Empowerment Network. Today is the 30th of November, 2023, and there's a lot of excitement. There's celebration. It marks the 90th day since our All Connect, our baby All Connect went commercial. So we have this powerful team here today so that together we can have a look what has been happening from the 1st of September till today. Welcome, Andy. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Hello, Red. <laughs> Hi, Red. <laughs> hey, how you doing, guys? Doing okay. Hello, Collins. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Nice to be here with everyone. Jeffrey Mollock, Red, Andy, Comfort. Yeah, it's always good to be among. Yeah, sure. Red what people. a joy. Welcome, Jeffrey. <laughs> Oh, hello, hello. I'm glad you guys are having a wonderful on passive day because I'm right there with you. I'm excited to in, be here. Thank you. In, indeed, indeed. I hope it's going to be a wonderful evening, guys. Just be ready. Drop as many comments as you can in the chat section because we want us to tell you from your own angle what you have been doing. So we would like Red to use this first opportunity to give us a, a kind of an overview or an appraisal of these 90 days. And then together we'll see what we want to do. Over to you, Red. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. As I said, good to be here. So what a 30, uh, 90 days it's been, hasn't it, really? Uh, it feels like a lifetime. Uh, so much has happened in uh, three months. It's hard to believe. And uh, obviously, for those of us that have been on the On Passive journey, uh, we certainly know that time does not stand still in On Passive. And it's certainly not stood still as far as OConnect is concerned. Uh, we started 1st of September, like Comfort said, and that was the day that we rolled out OConnect as a com our first commercial product. And commercial means it is our first paid product. Prior to that, for pretty much over a year, actually, uh, we've had other free products within uh, a thing called an ecosystem, which is a single sign-on uh, environments where you sign in and you get to utilize the products and services of on passive within the ecosystem you will find uh, a thing called omail which is our email client onet which is basically our chat area and also uh, alongside that we have uh, o tracker as well which is a free version at the moment but the ba the baby the one that we're starting with is OConnect. Why have we started with OConnect before we move on to the functionality and how it has been going over 90 days? OConnect is a huge integral part of many of our other products and services of on passive. It is imperative that this product is bulletproof, that this product works as it says on the tin, uh, because without this functioning correctly, many of our other products that we have coming to the market uh, won't be able to uh, sustain and be able to use in the way that we want it. So let's start with September the 1st then. Uh, we launched OConnect and everybody was so excited. I've never seen so much excitement in any launch of any product anywhere that I have been involved with at all. Uh, it was almost pinching yourself is this real many of us have had a long journey to get to this stage of our very first product because uh we the early adopters have had the vision of what on passive is trying to achieve in the internet marketplace and to have this realized by having our very first uh product o connect that is being completely designed and developed by our own tech team over in hyderabad and dubai this is not a wash rinse chuck it out as another model this has completely been coded for us in o connect and if anybody has already used o connect you will understand why it is so different and this is the first thing that i noticed on the commercial side of o connect when we saw it on september the first was how it, the usability of it stands head and shoulders above other ones now we're on Streamyard at the moment because it is easier to stream to multiple channels we are going to be having this functionality within o connect at the moment you can stream it to one channel uh with uh within youtube 
And obviously, this is going to be expanded to multiple channels along with other social media sites as well. So we thought to bring you the good news of 90 days in OConnect, we thought we'd do it on StreamYard to begin with uh, so that so that you can all view it on all of our channels. Now then, when I first saw the paid version of OConnect, first thing that sprung to mind was the value that we were getting getting for this product. We were initially uh, asked to sign up for a 90 day period. And this is why we are having this meeting today is to celebrate 90 days. And we were given a huge discount on 1st of September to purchase it at only 143 US dollars. That's three months for 10,000 attendees, unlimited time, no caps, 10,000 attendees, you will not find that kind of value anywhere else with any other video conferencing solution that is out there on the network. That was the first thing. The second thing that I noticed that puts us head and shoulders above anything is the clarity of the video and the audio that combines in it. Was there a few buffering issues at the beginning within the first month? Yes, there probably was. A lot of this was down to internet usage from uh, the people using it and also the parameters within it. Everything needs to be tweaked. The best way to test anything is to put volume of users through it. This is exactly what we have been doing over the last 90 days. And I can safely say now at the end of 90 days, OConnect works as sweet as a charm. It is fantastic. Really is good, easy to function. One of the beauties of OConnect is that everything is in one place. Now, I don't know about you guys, but any other video conferencing platform that I've used, you have to look around, find places, maybe go in the background into different settings to be able to organize things with OConnect. Everything is on the front screen, and I mean everything. All your function tools are there in a ticker, uh, in, in bullet points above, at the bottom of your screen, whether you're the host or co-host, plus all of the attendees are just a click away. You can bring people in, you can take people out, you can mute, you can change all sorts of things. You have so many features that cost out of pocket money for other video conferencing. All of this is included in the price that you pay for OConnect. So we started off 1st of September. We were trialing it. We were getting used to it. And we, along the first month, we didn't have any extra features added. But during the second month, the uh, 30 to 60 day period, we started seeing more features being added into OConnect. Mainly uh, the video uh, playback you can have now. You can play videos directly from YouTube or any other social media directly onto uh, the OConnect channel. Crystal clear, whole screen fills up every nook and cranny of what you're looking at. So there's no wasted space. And like I said, the quality of the sound and video is top notch. It is, really is right there in your face. Other features that came along with resound, so you can get a really good feel of the vibe of the meeting that you're having by having these resounds. Not only are there featured ones, there are uh, block resounds that you can use, but you can also make your own resound. You can tape yourself if you wanted to or import other noises for that resound. There's other cool little gadgets as well that are available there. You can change as many backgrounds, import backgrounds as you want. Exactly the same with the virtual backgrounds. We're going to have video virtual backgrounds. I've never even heard of it, let alone seen it. So I'm extremely excited to see what that brings. Call to actions when you are doing any conference calls and you need to share with anybody on the screen a uh, link for something rather than writing it a chat area or having to send it to people after the meeting you can put it on the screen and they can click it directly off the screen what a cool function and there's so much more coming our way 
we will be the first company in the internet space to have virtual auto automated translation. What does this mean? To start with, it's going to be audio to text. That means me talking to you in English. You click a button. Guess what? You'll have that text of me talking live translated automatically to you in the language of your pleasing. And this will go to audio to audio in the future. That means what I'm saying, there will be a virtual person saying it in your language. Can you imagine the possibilities that that is going to open the doors to? How many national, multinational companies do you know that use translators today? The UN is just one of them. There is loads. The possibilities are absolutely endless. The second, the last month of Oconnect, we've seen some really big upgrades as well. We now have the streaming uh, available now to YouTube. This is going to go now to other um, social medias as well, not just to one YouTube channel. It will be multiple. Plus, we'll be able to integrate other social medias as well into that. This really is a non-stop roller coaster of a ride as far as video conferencing is concerned. It's not going to stop today. It's not going to stop tomorrow. Every single week, there is going to be new upgrades coming for this solution. If you've never seen it before, get yourself hold of Oconnect and have a play. You can sign into Oconnect into on Passive.com. You can get yourself a 14-day free trial just by signing up. It, you are going to be blown away by it. I can assure you of that. Anyway, that's enough for me. Over to you, Comfort. Oh, my God. I think, guys, I think we're as good as to say the show is ended. So Red does it in such a way that you're just like, I think if we end the show now, then it really took place because we've got everything we wanted to hear. But then I don't think Andy Collins and Jeffrey will forgive me for doing that. Because the truth is, no matter how much you say, there's always some other new thing somebody says because people look at it from their various angles. So, Jeffrey, over to you. I don't know what you want to say, but then I know you want to say something. <laughs> well, <laughs> first of all, I, I just want to thank you that you've got this group together because, you know, I, I'm learning and, I, and I'm loving what I'm seeing. And I have uh, spent time with you and Andy and Collins recently. Uh, Red, it's an honor to be here with you, and I appreciate so greatly all the things that you do and have done and still will do for us. So thank you so very much for that and for your opening. Man, you're right on. Spot, spot on. Everything there. I'm loving life right about now. You, you did mention some things, you know. And when I look back over the 90 days that we just came out of, and I believe, Andy, a long time ago, you may have referenced this, but it reminds me of that story, the little legend that could, you know, I think I can, I think I can. You're getting that steam, you're going up that hill, because we have certainly been hit with some challenges, but we have certainly persevered. And when I talk about perseverance, I'm talking specifically about Mr. Mufara, his tech teams, and the resilience that they've shown us, especially in the last 90 days, when it comes to pushing forward and, and, and busting through the challenges that they have been hit with, which have been global, which have been phenomenal um, challenges that we never probably really counted on, although we knew that we were up against something pretty big. Um, that multiple channel capability read that you were talking about, man alive, that goes right in line with everything else that we've been doing. And we've heard Ash in the past, right? We stabilize, scale it, and then we go after it. And then we stabilize it, and then we scale it, and we go after it. Whatever needs to be fixed, we do that fixing. We add the features, we add the functionality. This is exactly as playing out as he has said. And that value that we have, is perpetually growing, just like our income is going to, right? And Ash talked about these things happening throughout the year, right? The auto translation you talked about, man, that's huge. The live streaming, added features that he's uh, talked about. I mean, he's uh, at least once a month, he's mentioned these things and he's preparing us to get ready. Even though we, a long time ago too, he said two steps forward, one step back. And sometimes that's exactly what it feels like. 
but we got still got a lot to look forward to. We've got the video in the graphics background. We got the avatars. And we got more products that are already lined up and strategically waiting by design to be rolled out. But we have some things to get through, and it's happening fast. And I'm going to stop right there and get get some other people in here. And thank you so much. I love I love this. <laughs> sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jeffrey. So uh, Collins earlier on Red says uh, said that the usability of O Connect stands out. So can you explain a bit more of that to us, please? Yes, <laughs> Red, Red, you know, Red and Jeffrey, you guys have just nailed it. I don't think we can say anything again. <laughs> Where do we go from here? Yeah, Red talk about the usability, which is really good because usability is something that is really great when it comes to, to software products. You know, what they build is a software solution and you can't build a software without the usability part of it. How would the user interact with that software? That's one of the things you must you know, bear in mind that you are built for someone to do, carry out a, a function or carry, carry out an action, and then the user is expecting a result. For instance, when you click on a button, what are you expecting? When you launch a, a meeting, what are you expecting? That you will see everybody. When you speak, you expect someone to hear you. You know, when you turn on your video, you expect someone to see you. This all the usability, you know, the function like speech to text, text to speech, these are all um, um, usable function. Now, when you look at it again, you talk about the non-functional part of it. You know, things that happen behind the scene, but you don't know, you don't have any control, like, like the stability. Jeffrey just talked about the stability. For the past 90 days, we've seen how stable the system is, you know, all connect is, you know, with the number of users that are coming in. Because the way I was looking at all connect, we are talking about single sign-on a product within, which is integrated within another product. Have we ever sit back, look at all mail? How many people using all mail, video mailing, you know, you know, speech to text, text to speech, all these heavy data, big data, they are coming in. And simultaneously, we are using all connect at the same time. How many of those people, when you look at it, they are just like pumping like images, pictures, videos on all net. And we're talking about single sign on, all of these heavy data, where are they going? You know, at one point you feel like the system will crash or just fall apart because all of them are just going in, you know. But this is it. This is where we are now, where everything is just working seamlessly. You know, let us look at all connect. They are all heavy data pictures. They are all pixel. Like um, Red talk about the pixel coming in, you know, image, sound, all of those things. They are all big data combined with other products that we have. All of them big data going where? going into the database to the data center that we have. So these are all something that contribute to the stability of the system. If you can do that, get the system stable, you know, you've already beat the market. Because now we don't even think about what is happening, like Red said, about the buffering. It's not happening again. No, people don't complain about hearing. Like, you know, when they had the Unpassive 360, more than 3,000 people were there listening. What happened? Nothing. Nobody complained. That is the stability of, of the system, you know, and then the use, usability coming in and they added more features upon more features upon more features. You know, this is just so crazy, you know, but I will leave it there. Maybe Andy would, would take a talk more. Indeed. <laughs> if it's not crazy, it's not Mr. Mufare. Thank you. So, uh, Andy, to you again, earlier on, uh, Red said, that o, o Connect is the very first, or oh, OnePassive is the very first company with a, with this uh, video conferencing that would have the virtual automatic translation. What do you think would that mean to businesses and maybe you and myself? This, this is where it gets really exciting. Um, I mean, I, I know of one company in particular that is has over 100,000 employees some are in japan some are in south america head offices in uh, in europe <clears throat> um, but the japanese don't speak english and the south americans don't speak english they speak spanish or japanese and every time they have a global meeting they have to get uh translators to go into the offices the other end um so if you've got this system well that saves the company a fortune because every single time they've had to get a translator in to deal with the with the meeting 
um, either the Japanese end or the South American end. <clears throat> so if you've got something that actually does it face to face, your your quids in. Um, now it, it again, I've come across a, an organisation that streamed a, a conference, and um, the speakers had to give their speeches to translators a month before they were due to hold this event in order for the translators to be able to translate them and and be ready for that for that meeting and it was streamed and seen by three million people now we've got a a, a facility that is unlimited so you could have three million people on the call and it's auto translation just think what difference that would make now this is a huge organization a worldwide global organization <clears throat> but there are there are hundreds of them thousands of them and thousands and thousands and thousands of companies that have you know employees one end of the globe or the other and half the time they don't um it, you know get to to uh, understand what's going on unless they've got a translator but it's that's not all I mean, the whole system since COVID has changed. So most businesses now do their meetings online. Now, we know that the other systems have limitations, but, you know, with with the features that we already have, prompter. So if I'm doing my speech, I can look at the camera and it will read it out like a teleprompter Everybody else on the call can't see that. But I can do my speech as a professional and be able to have everybody see me as if I'm, you know, doing it from memory, which is phenomenal. So, you know, then you've got things like um, uh, push a link. All right. I want everybody to go and have a look at this link. Bang. There you go. Or a call to action. Guys, we've offered this opportunity. Now, if you want to go ahead with this opportunity, here you go. Click on this link. Or I'd love to know what the audience thinks about what's going on here. If you agree with the situation, tick yes. If you don't agree, tick no. Let's see what the audience thinks. But this, you know, because we have unlimited capability, just think about concerts. Now, when we had COVID, you had all of the um, comedians, for example, not able to do their stand-up shows in front of an audience. But if you if you actually had a small audience somewhere and had the capability to be online globally and you're selling tickets online globally, just think that where that could take you. You know, this is a... a a system that is different to anything else we've ever seen before. And it has no limits, unlike all of the others, where we know that if you had 15,000 or more and you've got poor bandwidth, you're out. Not with this system, because at the end of the day, the AI technology takes over and sends people the bandwidth they need to be on the call. This is why it's ideal for things like concerts. So next time they, <clears throat> you know, you two have a concert for argument's sake, not my favorite band, but you two as an example, and they're in the States. Great, I can watch it if I want to. These these opportunities we have will never come up with the com with the other competition or the other companies that offer this this type of opportunity. We're three to five years ahead of the rest of the game. Back wow. to you, Comfort. Thank you. Thanks so much, Andy. So uh, back to you, Red. Earlier on again, uh, during your first presentation, you talked about uh, O'Connect coming with a lot of value. Rightly so. And all of us who know Ash and his team by now, we know that Ash is all about value. So can you discuss a bit more about unperceived and value than O'Connect, maybe? Chris? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, as far as O'Connect is concerned, we've already seen last week uh not only have we had exceptional value uh over the last uh 90 days anyway with oconnect for those that managed to pay in the early days of three months for 143 us dollars uh but because we have had a few 
uh, issues as far as merchants is concerned and paying particularly with cards, whether that be debit or credit cards. Ash has extended the 90 days for all those users for a further 30 days to the end of December, free of charge. And what's he also done? He's also said to all of those that have not been able to purchase O-Connect and you want to, we're going to reduce the price, not even put it up. We're going to give you three months for $93 US. Crazy man. So that's just a little bit of what this guy is like. And in the, in the future, what is going to happen? He's going to make bundles. He's going to have offers. He's going to put three different products together. If you buy three, you get it for this price rather than buying it individually. You can be able to buy it annually, quarterly, monthly. There is going to be so many deals around in on passive. The real value is going to be up to you of how much you want that product for, for a period of time, and it will suit your needs for however what you want it for. Now, remember, many people on this call here are affiliates. They have taken the decision to not only use the products and services of OnPassive, but also to resell the products and services of OnPassive for a commissionable amount. Now, there is no other company out there online at the moment that are doing what we do, giving the user the ability to make a passive income by reselling the products and services on passive as an affiliate. Not only is he giving value because of the price that the user is going to purchase the products for, but then he's giving back even more by giving the affiliates, those who wish to do it, a commission on the resell, resale of the products that they have purchased. Now, what an ingenious marketing business on passive is. It ticks all boxes. The value that they get from a business using their products is exponential because normally a company will be paying literally through the nose because of the amount of people that were using the products with on passive they purchase it once and then they can open the doors to their employees to use that product if you are a small business we have solutions that will make your life easier if your life is easier it means you have more time to be able to do the nicer things in life for your business or yourself personally. If you can have one single sign on where you can access all of the products and services that you need to run your business, doesn't it make sense to have it all in one place? We do it all the time now. Look at here in the UK with insurance. Remember the days you had to go to one insurer for your car, another insurer for your house, another insurer for your life insurance, another insurer for um, in, uh, accident and injury insurance. Now what happens? You can get them all in one place. Why? Because the consumer wants that. This is why on passive is going to be extremely popular with so many people. They like the ease. They like to be able to go to one place. It's better value than they had before. It's a better product. It does more. It's better value, like we said, because we can have it accessed in one place. Really is sky's the limit as far as on passive is concerned, as far as the value is concerned. Once you are a member of on passive, either as a user or as an affiliate, there really is nowhere else you will need to go. We are having solutions and developing them, releasing them into your ecosystem that will cover all your bases, whether it's HR, whether it is video conferencing, whether it is chatting on the social media, 
whether it is making a website, whether it's a domain name, whether it is learning, whether it is giving, we have absolutely every single base covered as far as solutions are concerned. So when you talk about com uh, comfort value and what on passive is doing, we are doing everything. We are going to saturate the market with our products. We are going to give everybody what they want at a lower price. They will have no choice but to use one of our solutions. Back to you. Wow. Thank you, Rev. I think I like the best way of telling someone is just to say we're doing everything like you rightly said, Rev. Thank you. So, uh, Jeffrey, you know, after listening to all what you are saying here, somebody is, can afford $199 as of now, but then they are holding tight onto it because they're like, mm, this much for this less, they, don't, they can't wrap their brains around the fact that it's this cost effective but comes with so much value. What do you say about that? I say, loosen your grip, bro. Let it go, man. <laughs> You've just got to do it. You've just got to do it. You know what? I love, I love that we started talking out there with, with Andy and Red about the user ability, right? I mean, because we have that right now. If you're looking for value, look at that. Look at the user ability, uh, user ability in OConnect alone because we, we got it in spades, right? And it's only going to get better moving forward. What I love about OConnect, and it, it may be kind of weird, but it is gorgeous. It is a beautiful platform. I love the colors. I love the ease. I love the layout. I love all of it. But the user ability, every, all these buttons that they're talking about, they're, man, they're right down there. They all work. They're all great. They're, they're everything that we need. It's incredible, right? And we're just going to see a lot more of it um, as, as we move forward. But as good as all that is, right, uh, these things are all going to be connected within the OES, the on-passive ecosystem that we've got. As, as, we, as we push out uh, more uh, bandwidth and we use more power and we integrate more uh, – securely, right? That's the stabilization we're talking about, which simply means we, we're making sure that things run the way they're supposed to run, right? And that means on top of this platform with all the moving parts. And what we need to keep in mind is that everything in the OBS is all connected to each other. It's also connected to the marketing, the financials. It's all connected to the automation and enhancement by AI, right? The machine learning in particular, right? That learns as it goes so it gets better man alive talk about value i mean yeah right on red you know what i love what you said when you look at the oes alone we've got everything we need everything needed i didn't say everything a wish list i mean if you need it for an online presence or a business it's going to be in the oes now when i talk about the oes we know that that's a, a software as a system uh, software as a, a service system, right? That's the business model. Generally speaking, those things are not really truly sustainable in a very, very profitable way. When you look at some of these big SaaS companies, man, they are not bringing home the, the jack, right? So look at what else Mr. Ash Mafara has done in backing up. Now we've got this this platform, this marketing platform with the OES, which is miraculous in itself with all the technology that's backing it up. But to subsidize it, look at the other things we have, which simply compounds the value. To subsidize us, we've got data centers, innovation labs. We've got the, uh, the physical products that are coming out. We develop strategic uh, partnerships. I mean, there's a lot of things going on in the background that's going to ensure, as Mr. Bufar has always said, we are going to ensure your success. So when you say, gee, I've got $110 or $93 or $143 or whatever your number is that you're barking at, I love it like this. You know what Mr. Bufar said? He said, no company, no company on the planet I'm not talking about aliens here. No company on the planet is going to give you the value that on passive is going to give you for the cost. No company. So if you're, if you're worried about hanging on to those dollars, stop worrying. Step out, put your best foot forward, jump in and enjoy the journey. That's what I got to say to them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. So Collins, I would like you to just say anything that comes to mind now.
this <laughs> should surely be the last round, but I'll end yeah. with red because there's one call to action he would like to make to a particular people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I like what Jeffrey and Red just said. You know, Red touched about everything in Unpassive is valuable. You know, you look at the value even from the founders, founders' point of view, those who plug in, you know, you can see that there is a lot of value. And if I look at Red, look at, you know, Jeffrey Muller, Maddy Digger, all of those people, they are bringing value into it, making people to really see what is happening on Passive, you know. So, and that's the beauty about on Passive, like a big family, but helping, educating each other for nobody to, to fall back and say, oh, there is no knowledge, there is no understanding because people are always there to give knowledge, which is one big value. And then two, look at the value of the employee. Those Ms. Ashwafara is hiring, you know, because of their experience, they are able to build something like this all connect, you know, and every time we can see it from our CEO right down to, to, to Mohammed Kamal, right to the last person who is working in Hyderabad and Dubai. They are all valuable to on passive. Now let's look at the product, you know, the product side, the value. We always know when we look at every product, they say the higher the value, the more expensive the product is. What happened to on passive? The higher the, va the value, the more affordable the products are. You know, so the affordability is something that Ms. Ashford have created. And that's why everybody would turn around and say, you know what, I want it, I want it. And remember what our CEO told us last time on Passive 360, and they wrote it, I always remember, I said, the principle or the something from Passive, he said, it's about doing less, paying less, earn more, and then the ability to give back to humanity. That's the reason why on Passive was built, was built. And it is about giving value back, you know, not about giving hand out, but about impacting people's life, bringing them, make them to feel like they are they are also, you know, those who have already lost hope, you know, you're giving back hope to the community, you know, those who have just like, there is nothing left for me, now they will come back and see, you know, that there is something for them, which is on passive. That is the value on passive is bringing to the world. You know, Ms. Ashbara said, I can give, you know, the template and everything, but they will not have the heart to give back to the community what I have done. And that is where all the business will struggle to do what Ms. Ashford is. He said, not because they cannot build it, but do they have the heart to give back to their community? They will never do it. And that's where the values are. And like Red said, everything on passive is, on, is, is value. And that's where I will, I, will, I, will, I will end comfort. All right. Thank you. Thanks so much. Over to you, Andy. I, I, <clears throat> I wanted to come at this from a slightly different angle. But before, we, before I do that, um, I just wanted to answer Rob Royal's question. Um, there's two things. First of all, the, the uh, auto translation is not there yet, but it will be um, in the coming months. Um, the Who will sell this? Well, the company will sell this on our behalf, and we can also offer it to um, uh, either individuals or companies. At the end of the day, there will be a method, I'm sure, of being able to introduce companies like Fujitsu to um, on passive in order for them to do everything that's needed right now that that's not in place so but it will be there I'm pretty sure so bear that in mind um, I, I, I am thinking on the on a slightly bigger picture here from a teacher's perspective now we're, we're very shortly going to have um, a, a teaching platform called Academy and Academy will use our OConnect. Now uh, again, look at this from a from a uh, a teacher's perspective. Most teachers are on flat rate incomes, and um, if they do a lecture, they could simply um, record that lecture, put it up on the system, and offer that to other students. So those other students, no matter where they are in the globe, would be able to use that and listen to it in their language. Now that is a a, a killer on its own but the the business opportunity from our point of view <clears throat> collins uses value red uses value jeffrey uses value normally when you buy a suit yeah you get what you pay for this is a totally different environment just don't buy trousers online because they never fit but 
But, you know, always you get what you pay for. In this instance, no, totally different. You get far more value than what you pay for because the products are far superior to what's available today. And every single product that on passive comes out with is a different income stream for the affiliates. Now, think about that for one moment. If you want to build your own business, normally what you have to do is to go out and find all of these various products to be able to offer. And then you have to try and offer these on various platforms and you have to advertise, et cetera, et cetera. This is this system is done for us and every product is a different income stream. So what other business would you ever need? This is, for me, certainly, this is the last business I will ever need. Back to you, Comfort. Thank you. Thank you so much. So over to you, Jeffrey. <laughs> okay. Uh any particular question or no no particular question maybe a closing remark you want to encourage someone or to tell the people looking from the over the fence or stuff just say a thing oh yeah well i'll just go right in line with what uh, uh mr burks was talking about you know i think it was uh warren buffett that said you know you're not going to make it if you don't learn to make money while you're asleep flat out plain and simple and that uh, you know, M Mr. Mufara is talking years ago about multiple income streams. For every subscription that we've got, that becomes an income stream for us, okay? I mean, this is really a no-brainer. Everything that we've got in the OES right now, you don't even have to concern yourself with the peripherals, which are so substantial, it'll rock your brain and make your mind go nuts like Mr. Mufara says. You know, it'll spin your head around or something. Just in the, the, the data OES alone, the digital ecosystem alone, you have the ability to ensure not only your success, but you can guarantee through that success over time, perpetual income that will put you in that place of abundance so that you can then start sharing. You're, when we have enough for ourselves, enough for our family and then we've got some excess and now we're building money in the background and we're going okay well i've got everything i need and i've got more than i need you automatically start looking out into your neighborhood into your community into your friends and your family this is what this company can do for you and this is how globally speaking uh there's a lot of us we got a net going around the world globally right when we all start doing that, humanity goes up. We lift up humanity. We we lift the condition of humanity, and that's what that's what this can. So it, you don't have to have the big picture. Just do it for yourself. If you want to be greedy and jump in and say, "I want more money," jump in. It's, 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 I, I'm going to shut up. Go. All right. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, I think you answered this question earlier on, and this just came to mind, uh, Jeffrey. I'm sorry, I'll keep you on spotlight again, because after this, when Red speaks, we are we are closing. So you know, um, one of the things that is making people even just turn and listen to what on passive is all about is because they have tried and failed and tried again and failed. However, most people who are in on passive believe or they think. That Ash's mission, one of his heart's desires, is to pay back to the 97% that have tried it online and not succeeded. Would you like to comment on that just to help someone make a decision to see if they can stop by and have a look? Absolutely. And thank you for asking me this. I, you know, I mean, th these other guys, all three of those guys could answer this. But we all know Ms. Dumufar has been in this business in marketing for 20, uh, 25 years give or take, right? Holds a master's in information technology. This is the guy's bread and butter. This is his wheelhouse. This is what he does. And he has got more world experience in this than anybody on the, on the planet, okay? Now, when you take that into mind and you take into consideration that along with that experience, he has suffered just as worse 
than the 97% who have failed. I've lost money online. I, I lost money in crypto. I made a lot of money in crypto, but I've lost money in crypto. I've been scammed more than once in, in more, you know, in little ways. This man has been scammed in the past. He's been lied to. He's been cheated. He's been run through the mill. He's been, you know, just anything and everything that could be done to anybody online has been done to him. And through it all, he has said, you know what? I'm going to make a system that's going to ensure that those folks that have tried and failed will not fail again. Or I'm going to make a system where if they haven't tried and failed or haven't tried at all, they won't have to worry about it because if they come in, they're going to succeed. We're going to ensure their success. And this is what I was talking about a little bit ago when I lifted up the OES and said, this is, this is where we're going to make our money. But we know that that model is not all there is. So he went one step further and he said, we're going to hold that, that whole marketing platform in the OES. We're going to hold that up. That's going to be how we uh, divvy up finances and that's how we make people successful. But we're also going to have these peripheral things going on that is going to subsidize the entirety and we are not going to fail. I love what, love what he says, like NASA, right? Failure is not an option. So if you have ever failed at anything, you will not fail at this. If you've never tried and don't understand anything about online business or presence, whether whether like uh, you know uh, Andy was talking about teachers, if you want to jump on and if you want to do a PhD somewhere, or if you just want to be a at home mom or a hobbyist, or if you want to start your business or you don't, whatever it doesn't matter. We're going to have everything that you need so that you can be successful at what you want to do. And then once you have that success, you're going to just naturally start dreaming. You're going to want to reach out and do bigger and better and nicer. And when you start to grab that passion where you're like, wow, I can really do this. And you start thinking about the things you want to do. We're going to have a product and we're going to have some stuff behind that product. That's going to help you reach out to you your family and the world to do whatever is passionate for you. And that's the compassionate action we're talking about where we can get enough for ourselves and we can lift up others around us because now we've got the confidence and we've got the wherewithal to go forward and to do what we need to do so that we can all live better period. I hope that was okay. Wow. Thank you is all I can say. I really appreciate. So Red, uh, these are a group of people we've not really discussed about here. People who do the, uh, create content like YouTubers. So what do you think uh, Oconet can do for them? Just give as much information as you can that would help somebody who is a YouTuber or content creator. Okay, I'll give you the example of my nephew. Now, my nephew, he's been YouTubing for a uh, a fair while now, uh, probably around about eight years, something like that. And he's got over three and a half million subscribers to his channel. And he is an influencer for uh, kids for one of the games. OK, and he shows cheats and all the rest of it. Now, I know because I do a lot of YouTubes that the minute you stop putting new content on your channel, you will see not only your views, but also your revenue doing a very big, steep curve downwards. What's Oconnect going to bring to the table for them? Now, before I go into uh, talking about the money side of uh, uh, Oconnect and uh, how you can make money with on passive, I really do want to say this. It's my firm belief and the company's belief that the majority of the users of our products and services are going to be just that. Right? They're going to pay to use our products and services. Why? It makes their life easier. It's better than what they're already using. They're already paying something for a similar product or service. Along comes on passive. Bingo. I've got something at lower price, does more, easier to use. For them, absolute no brain. I'm having that because it makes my life easier. I'm not interested in making money. I'm not interested in referrals or uh, commissions or whatever. I just want to use it because it's better. 
Now here's the other side. There is many of us, me included, who are looking to make some money online. There's plenty of us. We've all tried lots of things. What is the beauty about on passive? For a start, we are going to have multiple products, physical and virtual, that we will be able to resell and earn ourselves commissions. It is simple business sense. You sell it, you make a commission. How easy can that be? Yes, there's going to be bonuses. Yes, there's going to be volume. Yes, there's going to be all this. But the basics is you sell it, you make a commission. But here's a good thing. You don't have to carry any stock. Why? Because they're all digital. They're all coming from somewhere else. So you can sell the on-passive products and services by being an affiliate, knowing that you have this endless supply of stock that people can use because it is online. Now let's go back to the YouTuber. Remember what I said? If you don't do in contact, everything plummets downwards. It's not going up when you're not putting new content on. Along comes O Connect. Does the same as YouTube, does the same as StreamYard, what we're on here. More features, all the rest of it. Lots of more jazzy bits and all the rest of it. You can play music in the background. You can have all sorts of whiteboards. You can play. You can interact. Loads and loads of stuff. All that person needs to do is to show one video on O-Connect to his followers on YouTube and say, put a little snippet in YouTube, say, I am going live today with my content on a new platform called O-Connect. Here's the link. Put it in the description of what he's just done. All of his users click on that link and then they access the ecosystem by putting a few details. When I mean few details, first name, last name and an O-mail that they set up themselves, which is get some access into the ecosystem. They go and view the O-Connect, which this guy is going to be doing exactly the same as you see on YouTube. But here is the kicker. That person will be forever in the future associated with that YouTuber. Why? Because he accessed the O-Connect through his link. Now, on passive, what they're going to do, they're going to continually send this guy emails, bit of marketing. They're going to show him things, new products, new services, virtual, physical. He's going to be all sorts of invites at different prices, different levels, etc. That guy, maybe in a year's time, maybe in two years' time, might buy something from on passive. He thinks, oh, I like that. I can use that. I'm going to buy it. Guess what happens to the YouTuber? He's made a sale. He's made a commission. And what has he done for it? Zero. All he did was invite somebody to watch his YouTube on O Connect. Just think about that. Just think about how easy it was. Even if he had 5% of his 3.5 million followers, 5%. If his three and a half million followers go to O Connect, that is a big figure. Wow! And he's and he's a small YouTuber. That is the opportunity that is there for everybody in O Connect. Acorns make big trees; they're solid. But you have to start with something. O Connect is our very first product. It's our very first paid product that we have that people can earn commissions from by reselling it and it is going to be an integral part of so many others back to you comfort okay all right all right thank you red that was powerful and i'm going to apologize to you and jeffrey collins and and andy already know that i make promises and i don't keep them which means i am asking you another last question <laughs> It's just a question. I'm sorry. So listen, Red, kindly just clearing, uh, quickly clarify for us. Is there actually any difference between the unpassive type of affiliate program and the traditional affiliate program that's been existing out there? Yeah, uh, so, uh, go on. Yeah, hundred percent. Normal affiliate programs are based on if you have to recruit other people for you to make money. 
not in on passive. On passive affiliates is a simple, basic business model. You're an affiliate. You sell something. You make a commission from what you have sold. It's not about recruiting another person so that you can make your money. That's not how we do it. That's not ethical. That's not what it's about. We want you to be in on passive to use our products and services. We want you to know how good they are so that you can tell somebody else how good they are. But by telling somebody else how good they are, then you are making a commission yourself. It's not about building this team of lots and lots of people so that you can make more money. Yes, there is going to be team volume involved with it down the line. But the basics of it all is you sell something, you make a commission. It's not about recruiting. It's not about <laughs> this perpetual wheel that so many people get in. OK, it's all about the ethical side of business. And it's been a long time since any company has been around who have the morals and ethical side of what on passive is all about. It's refreshing to be part of, I can assure you. All right. Everybody's giving you a round of applause because you just nailed it as usual. Thank you so much, guys, for all the for, for your time and all the uh, sacrifices. Thank you, team. Great uh, contributions, great questions too. I think somebody asked a question, and we promise that we like doing this every day. So if you're watching from any channel, go ahead and just why not subscribe, hit the bell, and expect more every day. Tomorrow we have another powerful team. Derek Cook is leading the team for tomorrow. Roblin. Uh, sorry, Robin Noble, and I think a few more people. So, guys, see you really soon. And thank you, Red, for coming. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Colin Zanandi. See you soon. Bye.